Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink has been looking at how you might find some savings through your insurance and has some advice if you're considering travel insurance. I get it. I get it. Kyle McDougald and his family love traveling, but their most recent trip to Mexico had a few bumps. They missed a connecting flight in Philadelphia. By the time we got there, the flight had already loaded and locked and loaded, so we had to, they had to pay for us to stay in a hotel. Then flying back to Connecticut, their luggage was damaged. It's had the family thinking about getting travel insurance for the first time. So next time we think we'll be insured. If you're like McDougald and thinking about getting travel insurance, here are some things you need to know, according to Carmen Balber with Consumer Watchdog. The time when it really makes sense to buy travel insurance is if you are going on a big, expensive foreign vacation where you have to prepay for your hotels, your travel, your tours, et cetera, and there's a chance you might lose that money. Putting out an extra 50 bucks to protect your $250 you know, trip to Denver when the airline is at least going to give you a credit for that uh, amount doesn't make as much sense. Experts say avoid buying insurance on booking sites. Often you're so focused on just booking the trip, reading the fine print gets lost. Booking sites often make a deal with one insurance company and you want to be able to have multiple options. Don't assume cheaper means bad coverage. Policy rates are not regulated, so you can sometimes see two plans with the same coverage and one will be twice as expensive. <laughs> Buy based on the coverage you need, says Balber. That's why it's more important to know more about the types of travel insurance out there, says Loretta Waters with the Insurance Information Institute. <laughs> Trip cancellation is pretty straightforward. What it does is reimburses you when certain circumstances prevent you from taking your trips. But only insure the trip costs that are non-refundable and prepaid, according to CoverTrip.com. You won't be paid back for the trip costs that are refundable, so insurance for refundable costs would be a waste of money. Travel waivers tend to be the same, Border says. Thank you so much. A waiver allows customers to change their itinerary with no fare differences. It's often used for flights. They usually don't cover you immediately before the departure, um, which is when most people cancel or after the trip has begun. You don't necessarily need to pay for baggage insurance or personal effects coverage, which covers you just in case your baggage or belongings are stolen, damaged, or lost. That's because a lot of airlines or trip operators already provide coverage. Before you pay for emergency medical expenses, which cover costs related to a medical crisis, check with your health insurance company. If you do buy emergency medical expenses coverage, don't overinsure. You don't need to have crazy coverage amounts to be covered, says Waters. The same goes for accidental death travel insurance. You may already be covered by your life insurance policy. You don't want to duplicate something you're already paying for. Last but not least, as always, shop around for free.